So, um, how about the lightful ending, huh? Hello everybody, my name is Supplegen, and welcome back to the mess that is my channel. And after a week of only using my warlock and trying to reimagine all the builds that got neutered, fuck, 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 oh! I've made the best variations I could with what is available to me at this time. So, without further ado, let's get started with the Arc Soul build. All right. So while I could use this, oh, okay. So while I could use this screen, I'm gonna use this one because this one's just way more convenient. So, starting off, on our helmet we have Harmonic Siphon, another Harmonic Siphon and an Ashes to Assets. On our gauntlets we have one fire power and a grenade kickstart. On our chest piece we have two charged up, which will increase our capacity of how much armor charges we can hold. On our gaunt or on our boots we have stacks on stacks, and we can only have one on because uh, it only works for one. And then one invigoration and one innervation. And then on our bond, we just have triple bombers, because why not? For subclass, it's actually going to be the complete same as uh, the previous version. We have Chain Lightning, Pulse Grenade, Healing Rift, Arc Soul, Electrostatic Mind, Spark of Discharge for uh, Ionic Traces with Arc Weapons. To create uh, Divining Jolt to Targets will create an Ionic Trace for me, which is Spark with Spark of Ions, Spark of Shock. Is, uh, makes my arc grenades jolt and spark of amplitude. I can make an orb of power while I'm amplified. All right, so uh, my final thoughts about the build <clears throat> is that you know it's you know it's back to what it once was. You know it's still a very good build. It sucks that uh, all the mod all the mods got deprecated. Basically, it's just like an entire just nerf all around for all the mods. Charged Harvester got nerfed, Heavy Handed got absolutely def got absolutely destroyed, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> in terms for the uh, exotic that you're using, uh, Getaway Artist, it's just in this type of uh, build crafting environment now, it, it's definitely not worth using. I'd much rather just use Fallen Sunstar at this point because it's going to do me more good than what the Getaway Artist is doing. Hopefully, uh, when newer mods come, newer mods come around, and hopefully there will be newer mods coming around, uh, the build will get better and it can be revitalized. But for now, uh, this is the best I can do with what we got. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much just the the Arc Soul build. Next up, I'm going to try and make a Strand build. Probably not going to go too well since I don't have all the aspects and frag- all the as- uh, not aspects, but fragments unlocked. Uh, hopefully that- hopefully I can make a good build out of that. Hopefully you guys can enjoy that build as well, as well enjoy th as this build. But, uh, that's all for me. The rest of the gameplay is just going to be some strike gameplay, and as always, have a good one.